Yeah, I, I think the I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say like kind of three three parts. Um, you kind of have to know where you are, know where you want to go, and kind of know how to get there. Okay, so let me go through each one. In terms of who you are, it's like who are you at your very very best, and also what are some limiting beliefs you have? What's mm. the story you're writing? You know, really do some work on like where are you right now, and be intellectually honest. Write it down. Like I, I used to write down all my limiting beliefs, the things I thought you know I wasn't good at. Like all that has to come out. So where are you right now? Next is where, what do you actually want? I can't tell you how many people I talk to, you know, students or, or, or folks at Alpine, they, they actually don't know what they want. This is a great place to spend some energy, you know, like, like what does success look like? Like, how could you, how could you hit a goal you don't have? So spend some time and on the, on the, on the, what do you want? Three pieces of advice. One is, um, uh, decide what you would do if you knew you wouldn't fail. Like that's the thing you're going to be most excited about. So number one, when you like give yourself really permission to dream. Number two is think in terms of five or 10 years out. Don't think in terms of one year or two years because there's way too many constraints in one or two years. You have to, get, you have to push that out. And, and because in five or 10 years, almost any, anything you can imagine is going to, is going to yield. And the third one is this um, quote from, a, it's an executive coaching quote, which is the how is the killer of all great dreams. So don't, so suspend the how. So, so, Five years out, 10 years out, what would you do if you didn't fail? And don't worry about how you're going to do it. And that's really where you want to go. Once you get clear on that, then working backwards from that, it's actually not that hard. You know, and there's a bunch of different tactics you can use. A couple that I'll throw out. One is, you know, make a list of 30 things you could do to move toward that goal. Like literally sit there and sit down and don't move until you have 30 things. Make a list of six people that could help you on that. Make a list of things you could read to help you on that. Make a list of people that have done that before. You know, just, just like the tactics of getting there, believe it or not, are actually the easy part. It's you being super clear on where you're going and where you're starting from. That's that's the thing that most people 